SQL software purchase and, de and deployment. Mr. Costi? Yes, sir. A brief history, this environment that we're using today for SQL services, which uh, services over uh, 78 databases um, and many of the software products that you're aware of, the software products, for example, would be Eden Systems, uh, PCSS, which the courts use, uh, NetRMS, which the sheriff's department use, the software that runs the tax commissioners, tax assessors, and so on and so forth. All of those softwares have back-end databases that are in the SQL array. That's a, a, an array of servers that are redundant and back each other up. Uh, the physical hardware for those servers was installed in 2008. It was purchased in 2007 and was out of warranty in 2011. So we've been kind of running out of warranty and getting more out of it than, than was intended. But uh, it's, it served us well. It's been a great environment. It's time to upgrade that environment. The software also um, was uh, SQL 2005 that was installed in 2008. Uh, so the software is out of date and is several versions old as well. Um, it is time for us to upgrade that environment. Uh, we do not come needing hardware. Uh, we're able to further leverage the additional hardware that we have for our, our uh, Cisco uh, Unified Complete Computing Services platform, which is basically a large blade server. So we have sufficient hardware within that to, uh, to leverage that additionally. Uh, but we will need to purchase software and services and uh, that will basically move us to a 2014 SQL array environment that's virtual today. Any question from Mr. Costi? A quick question uh, regarding the maintenance uh, of, of, the, uh, of the software. Is there any, uh, any, any additional maintenance requirements? No, sir, not for the software itself. Um, if we wanted to enter into a maintenance contract with iVision, we could. Uh, but we don't feel that's necessary at this time. We do maintain the environment through Cisco, though. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. 